Hi there, Mr. Muhammad is here. This is Oxford Complete Mathematics for IGCSE students. Unit 7.3 is about the form y equals mx plus c. In some books, this form is called the standard form of a linear equation, y equals mx plus c. And in this form, always m is the gradient. The, this number is called the coefficient of x. It means the number which is right in front of the x. So this number is the gradient and this constant, which is the number alone, this number is the y-intercept. y-intercept means the place where the graph of the equation crosses the y-axis. So here this point is the y-intercept for this equation. Now look at this equation y equals 2x plus 3. The gradient for this equation is the number right before the x which is 2. Gradient is equal to 2 and the y-intercept is y-intercept is equal to 3. y-intercept is the place where the graph of the equation crosses y-axis. This is a very good working example. You can check it out on your book. And then as we go along with the exercises, I'm going to give you some more hints and tips. Then question one. It looks so simple. Whenever you see y alone on a side, it means the equation is ready. It's in the standard form. All you have to do is just, just write the number in front of x is the gradient and this constant is the y-intercept. So here in question 1, I don't see any number in front of x. I don't see any number here. So whenever you see x all alone like this, it means the gradient is positive 1. It means the number in front of x is positive 1. So here the gradient is positive 1. And for positives, it's fine if we don't write the positive sign. But for negatives, we must write. The gradient is 1. And the y-intercept the y -intercept is 3. For question 2, the gradient is 1 because x is all alone. It means the coefficient of x is positive 1. So for question 2, gradient is 1. And y-intercept y-intercept is negative 2. Question 3, gradient is 3 and y-intercept is 1. y-intercept means the place where the graph of this line crosses y-axis. Question 4, the gradient is 2 and the y-intercept is negative 5. Question 5, the gradient is 3 and the y-intercept is 4. Question 6, the gradient is 1 over 2 and the y-intercept is 6. So it's going same way with question 7. With question 8, the gradient normally is 2, but there is no any y-intercept. No, it's not like this. There is no any number. Since there is no any number, it means there is a hidden plus 0. So here is a plus 0. That's why it's not mentioned. When you see no constant in a linear equation, it means the y-intercept is 0. So the graph of this line crosses y-axis in the origin, in the 0, 0. So y-intercept is 0. Question 9, the gradient is 1 over 4. And the y-intercept is negative 4. Here, we have negative x. Negative x means the gradient is negative 1. And the y-intercept is positive 3. 
here always the number in front of x is the gradient so it doesn't matter it came in the first or the second what is the gradient negative 2 so gradient is negative 2 and y intercept is the 6 is positive so the y intercept is positive 6 question 12 again the gradient is negative 1 because what's coming before x is negative 1 x and the y-intercept is positive 2 question 13 question 13 is not written in the standard form we don't have y alone on a side then we have to make it standard then find the gradient and the y-intercept question 13 I'm going to do it here y plus 2x equals 3 how can we have y alone on a side if we send this 2x to the other side in other words if we say minus 2x to both sides and it will be like this y equals 3 minus 2x now easily we can tell what is the gradient the gradient for question 13 the gradient is negative 2 and the y-intercept is 3 gradient is negative 2 y intercept is equal to 3 this is for question 13 question 14 again it's not in the standard form then we have to write it in the standard form and then we can tell the gradient and the y intercept here 3x plus y plus 4 is equal to 0 how can we have this y alone on this side if we send the other two numbers to the other side and when they go to the other side the sign their signs will be changed so here y stays here the 3x will be negative 3x and the positive 4 will be negative 4 now the gradient is negative 3 and the y intercept for question 14 is negative 4 Question 14, gradient is negative 3, and y-intercept is negative 4. Question 15, again, again, is not in the standard form. We have to make y the subject, then we can tell the gradient and the y-intercept. Then to do this, 2y minus x equals 6. To have y alone on the side, we're going to send this negative x to the other side, it will be positive. Then 2y equals 6 plus x. It just became positive. And we need y, not 2y. So we have to divide everything by 2. Divide 2, divide 2, divide 2. Why we do this? To have y all alone on the side. Then these twos will cancel each other. What's remaining on the side is only y equals 6 divided 2 is 3. And x divided 2, it's better to write it as 1 over 2x or just x over 2 is fine. Then here, the gradient is 1 over 2. For question 15, the gradient is 1 over 2. And the y-intercept is 3. Question 16, again it's not in the standard form, we have to make y the subject and then work out the gradient and the y-intercept. So just like the last two questions, we have to organize the equation, then see the gradient and the y-intercept. 3y plus x minus 9 equals 0. Then keep the 3y on the side equals this is positive x will be negative x and this is negative 9 will be positive 9. But we don't need 3y. We need only y. We have to divide everything by 3. Then it looks like this. 3y divided 3 is just y equals negative 1 over 3x plus 9 divided 3 is 
3. So for question 16, the gradient is negative 1 over 3, and the y-intercept is 3. Question 17, again, it's not in the standard form. Let's organize it. Four x minus y is equal to five. Then how can we have y alone on the side by sending the four x to the other side? What's remaining here is negative y because the negative y stays on its side. That's why the sign will not change. Four x is positive, so it will, it will be negative five minus four x. What happened? Only the four x went to the other side so only the 4x was positive became negative the 5 is the same negative y is the same now it doesn't look like the standard form because this y is negative where well, we need a positive y y all alone on the side so whenever you need to get rid of a negative you have to multiply everything by negative 1 so this will remove the negative that you want to get rid of now negative y times negative 1 it will be positive y equals 5 times negative 1 will be negative 5 negative 4x times negative 1 will be positive 4x now the gradient of question 17 the gradient is 4 and the y-intercept is negative 5. Question 18. 3x minus 2y equals 8. Then guess what should we do first? We have to send the 3x to the other side. And then how can we get rid of this negative? By multiplying everything by negative 1. How can we get rid of this 2 by dividing everything by 2. So let's just write what we said. 3x minus 2y equals 8. Then the 3x will go to the other side. It will be negative. Then what's remaining is negative 2y equals 8 minus 3x. Then how can we get rid of this negative if we multiply everything by negative 1? And then divide everything by 2 so we can say divide everything by negative 2 so straight away we can remove this negative 2 or you can do it in the ordinary way multiply everything by negative 1 you will have 2y equals negative 8 plus 3x then divide everything by 2 to get rid of the 2 or you can do all, all in 1 divide both sides by negative 2 Then that's how it looks. Negative 2 will cancel negative 2. What's remaining here is only y equals 8 divided by negative 2 will be negative 4. Negative 3x divided by negative 2. Negative negative will be positive. 3 over 2x. So for question 18, the gradient is 3 over 2. The gradient is 3 over 2 and the y-intercept is negative 4. Question 19. So can you solve it mentally? Think. We have to send the 10x to the other side. It will be negative. Then to remove this negative in front of the y. You have to multiply everything by negative 1. So can you tell what's the gradient? If your answer is 10, so it means you got it. 10x minus y is equal to 0. Then this 10x will go to the other side. It will be negative. Then negative y is equal to negative 10x. 
Now to remove this negative here, we multiply everything by negative 1. Then what's remaining here, negative 1 times negative y will be y equals negative 1 times negative 10 is equal to 10 x. There is no intercept. It means here is a plus 0. That's why it doesn't appear. Then the gradient is 10, not negative 10. And the y-intercept is 0. Good. The last question in this set is question 20. y minus 4 is equal to 0. So how can we deal with this equation while well, it has no any x in it? How can we find the gradient? y minus 4 equals 0. To have y alone on the side, we see y is equal to 4. Then what is the gradient? Simply, y is equal to 4 is a horizontal line passing through 4 on y-axis and the gradient of any horizontal line is 0 or just look at the equation since there is no any x it means here is a plus 0 times x in the equation but since it's 0 that's why it's not mentioned then do you see the gradient the gradient is 0 I told you the reason and this is the algebraic way the y-intercept is positive 4, as it's here. Done. I hope you find it easy. Comment below whatever question you have. Thank you for watching.